Hi, this is Lee from Dog and Bone Australia. This is a quick demonstration video on how to do your water check to make sure that your Dog and Bone wetsuit case is safe to use um, after you've purchased it. So, we start on uh, grabbing the case. This is how it comes all packaged up. And as you can see in the opening flap, you can see your, your top case, your boot, and your bottom case. Uh, it's a quick little construction uh, diagram of how, how it all goes together for you. So that's how it all looks when it's all packaged up. And as you can see, every case is pressure tested to 2 meters to ensure the quality of the case. Yeah. Alright, so we'll shut that. That's how it looks all packaged up. Uh, as you can see over here, we have a, uh, a case taken straight out of the packaging that is already assembled with a test block in it to obviously do your water check. So you don't need to do anything when you take it out of the packet. You take it straight out there and on, on the actual test block has uh, points 1 to 8 which is uh, some uh, very clear instructions on how to do this water check for you, right? Okay, so once you've uh, pulled it out of the packet like that, uh, you can dunk it straight in the water and you have to do a 15 minute check to ensure that it's all uh, sealing and, and, and functioning correctly, yeah? So we'll come over here and as you can see already in the water, I've had this one soaking in there for 15 minutes to do the water check. Uh, so we'll put that one down over there. So once you pull it out of the water, uh, you give it a quick, quick dry, like so. Just get all the water off it, like so. Right, and that's it there. So once you get all the all the water off there, you want to start by um, by opening the door at the bottom there and as you can see you'll see water sitting all around the membranes and all around the, the, the door area there just give that a little bit of a dry get all that water out of there right and once you open the door the next step is to grab a, a coin throw it in your little coin slot over there just pop that open and just work your way along and the case will just pry apart like so that's your, uh, your top housing and you'll notice there's a bit of water in the top housing there, that doesn't matter. Pull the door down and uh, just dry all that excess water that's sitting on the top of the case just to make sure it's all nice and dry. All right. Once you've uh, done that, just pop it out of the bottom case. All right. Put that aside and this is your boot. This is what you don't want water in because this is where your phone is sitting in. Once you've done that, just get a, a little bit of a tissue or a cloth and just place the place it down flat and then just lift the, the, the edge of the membrane up and just put, put it under there and dry under there. So you just, just dry under that lip of the case just to make sure that water doesn't roll into the case because when you're taking the boot off, if you don't dry under this lip very carefully like so, then water will roll when you've got to take it off, water will roll in the, into the boot and you'll think that uh, that water's actually got into the boot. So it's very, very important that you do this correctly by just lifting up the, the lid and just drying, drying under the front of the, of the case. Like that. Getting all that water out from around the edge because there's bead seals in there that trap the water under this, under this lip. So you want to lift it up and dry it. Make sure you get it all nice and dry under there. Yeah? Once you've done that, start with your bottom uh, right hand corner when you're looking at it and just take take the boot off and like so and just peel it up and look in the back and just make sure you don't have any water pooling in there or any sort of drops of water uh, just beware when you do take it take it off that water can flick into the case if you're not careful <coughs> and you'll think that oh the water's got in there but it hasn't so as you can see it's nice and dry around the membranes in the bottom there and there's no water that has penetrated the membranes which is good okay so that's it once you've done that water check and it's good to go then you uh, you find it to use your your device in in, uh, in, in, the, in the case <coughs> as you can see over here I've got uh, one already uh, working one already prepared and it's uh, it's it's been in the water as well as you can see dunked in there but that's after I've done my water check to make sure it's all sealing and working correctly okay so there's no problems with that and that's that's pretty much uh, how you do the water check to make sure that water's not getting into into the device yeah 
a couple of key uh, a couple of key points we want to run through to make sure that uh, you're following the the directions of the case. It comes with a uh, instruction panel which uh, goes through everything very clearly on how to uh, how to um, do this water check that we've just done, as well as do's and don'ts. One of the one of the key things we want to uh, bring mention to is if you're using this case in salt water, chlorinated water or any chemicals uh, get onto the case, they must be rinsed off after, the, after use. If you don't uh, rinse it off, rinse the case off after use, after using it in the salt water especially, the membranes can sometimes get the salt onto them and, and it can crack the membranes and cause all sorts of damage. So you want to make sure if you're using it in these environments, salt water at the beach, make sure you just uh, soak it in a, in a bowl of water like this. Uh, just soak it in there for a couple of minutes to make sure you get all the salt, salt and uh, stuff off it, or chlorinated water gets gets all that sort of stuff off the membranes. As you'd all know, when you go to the beach, or uh, you know, salt can damage pretty much anything. So you want to make sure you get all that off. And same with chlorine; it's it's not it's not the best of uh, of stuff. And if you follow these instructions, um, as I've just said, you won't have any problems with your with your uh, with your wetsuit case. And uh, hopefully, enjoy using using this product. Thanks very much.